Hello folks, welcome back to my channel. I have a very interesting product to unbox and review today. It is the cheapest tablet print price among the market. Thank you Gaumon for sending me this new product to test and review. As always, I like the packaging of it, even though it is cheap in price but the box, the packaging and everything looks classy. This is the Gaumon S620 latest model. Over here, you can see the specs. It is battery free, 8K levels of pressure sensitivity, 10mm reading height, 5K resolution, 266 report rate, 165mm x 101mm active area, and it supports Mac and Windows platform. I had came across Gaumon brand quite some time ago with the model M10K Pro. It leaves me a good impression. If you want to know more about that, you can refer to this video up here. And I can't wait to find out what this new small tablet has yet to offer. Let's cut it open and see what is inside here. So we have the driver download card. And thank you card from Galmon. Thank you Galmon. And at the back, it is a warranty card. And here's the tablet. Comes with a nice protective plastic cover. Yes, it is good, not sealed, else I will have to tear it open and the plastic breaks. Ta-da! Here you go! Those small little dots indicate the drawing area, and there are four express keys button at the top left. I guess it is some leftover powder when they build it or something else right here, but it is easy to wipe off with cloth. No worries. And top here is the micro USB hole for the cable. And at the back, lots of big dots texture on it. It is very subjective. Certain people like it, certain people don't like it. To me, I'm okay, but I'm not a big fan of it. And there are four anti-slip rubber at four corners. It should hold firm on the table. And back to the front, you can see that the surface have tiny noise texture with matte finish when I hold it up close. And this tiny little pack here have extra nibs and a nib extractor ring. And there are 8 extra nibs in total. And here's a quick guidebook with different languages in it, so everybody understands it. But I think nobody reads it. <laughs> Usually people will just google it or search on YouTube better. The developer can consider taking my advice and save some money next time and don't print this at all for better features that they can invest in the future of the product. And hidden on the side, there are this cable that connects from tablet to PC. A micro USB head to the USB Type A head. And here's the pen. It looks nice. The quality of the rubber feels great. It comes with two customizable shortcut buttons. At the front nib, when I shake it, it does wobble a bit. Hopefully it won't affect the drawing performance. And the clicking and tapping is good. And this is the USB-A to USB-C converter for a Mac.
and there is a felt pen sleeve case. It is lightweight and it looks tidy. Alright, there is nothing more left in the box. Let's try to connect the converter. It feels a bit tight. Not too sure if it's the same for all other tablet or just this one. And let's try the nib extractor. Clip the ring to the nib and pull it. So you can see, it is easy to remove when you want to change to a new nib. Alright, let's put it back in. And here's all the items we have in the box. Next, hardware testing. In this first part, you will see the light indicator turns on when it senses a pen near to the surface. And next, it is the button clicking sound. It sounds solid, not bad, and the clicking is easy, not hot or stuck. Next, it is the drawing sound you hear when you draw on the board. The noise is not loud, and that is within the acceptable range. Next, software installation. First of all, go to Google and search Galmon and click the driver download and after that, choose the correct model so our case will be S620 and choose the correct platform, Windows or Mac and then choose the latest version it even has a special driver for the also player so after finish download, you can start to install but you have to make sure you exit all the drawing programs before continue to install it will take just a while to install everything so the next part Software calibration. So this is the settings page. You can adjust the pressure curve to get the desired sensitivity profile that suits you best. And you can also click on the pressure test white box to get the feel of it after the adjustment above. And at the bottom, you have an option to turn on or off Windows Ink option. For some software, you might need to turn on or off that in order for it to work properly. You can also disable the nib or switch to a mouse mode. Next, we click on the tablet. Check the express key enable button. Then, you can customize all four buttons at the top left of the tablet. When you hover over, it allows you to set whatever shortcuts you want for good. If you click workspace at the top of the menu screen, you can choose which monitor you want to map it to. And you can also switch the rotation if you are a left-handed user, which is pretty handy. And at the third button on the left, it goes into the settings page. You can switch language, combination key to open the settings, and you can diagnose to know more about the tablet. And it also shows you the firmware, and you can export the safe settings into file that you can save into your hard drive, so that you can use the settings in the future. Next, we're gonna head over to ZBrush to find out how well it can perform inside ZBrush. Okay, here's this fish sea creature that I sculpted some time ago. And I'm just going to add some facelift feature on it. Change some of the designs on certain parts with this tablet. 
I'm adding some flashback here on the creature's face. So when I sculpt, I really feel the wide ranges of pressure running through the skin and the surface of the creature. It feels quite comfortable when doing the strokes and curves. And I'm adding some scars to it and the signs of aging. At the body, instead of having three holes, I'm gonna fill it up and change it to something else. Mm, so maybe here's the new breathing area. and I'm adding some muscles that connects to the upper skin to make it look better. And at the bottom, I don't know what I'm gonna do, and maybe just have some fun, something scary looking stuff, just trying out the pressure of the pan. And it is what I'm expecting. And next, I'm gonna draw some fine details bump on the face that I changed just now. Okay, so now our fish have more details on it. And then let's change the shader and do some coloring work. I painted some random noise spray color on the body and then I'm gonna add this nice cool cavity details with darker color to enhance the visibility of those details even more. Then I smoothed out certain parts of the color so that it blends better. My god, you see, it looks great. After blending those color, it looks softer on those wrinkles and folds. New look for the sea creature. Next, we test it in Microsoft Word. Mainly, I'm gonna try to write words and see how well it follow my hand. For student, you can use this tablet to take notes, write down important points during the class hour, and as for teachers, you can also use this as a whiteboard to write equations when teaching maths, write points for your students, so far, it has been fluent and no latency issues. And also perform simple drawing tasks in here if you wish to draw diagrams, arrows, mind mapping stuff, you know, brainstorming, write out arrows and whatever, take notes, and everything is good in here.
Alright, next we will test this tablet inside Clip Studio Paint. A great software for drawing and you can see that the pressure varies a lot and from the thinnest line to the thickest line. When you draw, it is fluent and it is very very smooth. Next, let's draw quick lines to see if it has lack issues. Honestly, it has never been this great in cheap tablets. It responds surprisingly fast. At first, I thought it might be slow a bit because first thing, I drew quite fast and secondly, it is using the micro USB instead of the USB Type-C cable. But it didn't let me down and it is quite accurate on what I expect it to be on the screen. The writing in here also feels very good. Next, let's try to draw a simple character in Clip Studio. And this guy he has that boring looking face, the long hair, due to the pandemic, he didn't manage to get a haircut. And you can emphasize and play with the pressure to draw those hairlines or face lines with different thickness. That gives more detail to your character. I'm gonna add some simple shading to him and blur to blend those shadings to make it look even more natural. And after that, erase and pot to get nice highlights. So with the end word on the t-shirt, stay at home with love. I'm gonna add some line shades to it for the shadow finishing to get some sketchy feel. So in conclusion, drawing in Clip Studio Paint with this tablet is super great. I love it. we're gonna do a quick test in Photoshop. Usually in Photoshop, you will experience a bit of lag or latency issues we call it for certain graphic tablet product. Let's see if this tablet has the same issue. When drawing strokes, curved lines, I have to read edges from the settings again to better suit in Photoshop. You can also see those pressure works fine here, but just that not as obvious as in Clip Studio. When I do the line test here, it really surpassed my expectation. It has no lag issues at all. Not a second lag. It is as fast as those expensive tablets. I'm really surprised. In conclusion, this graphic tablet is priced at 33.99 after discount. It is small and easy to carry. It has all the features you need to carry out a task from as simple as writing notes, teaching online, drawing, painting, and even up to digital sculpting. It's very cheap in price, but it does not compromise the quality of the product. Hardware, and software are all good without compatibility issues. And the bad thing will be, yeah, maybe the powder on the first button on the left. Okay, there's nothing else to complain about. It's good. Um, but that that issue, it's a cosmetic finishing issues. I managed to clean it with a cloth, no big deals. And this tablet does everything as I expected. Well done, Gaumon. Do you think you will purchase this tablet for teaching, learning, or even drawing comics? Let me know down in the comment section below what do you think about this product. If you like my videos and hope to see more like this in the future, please consider hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell notification button so you won't miss any new content in the future. And as always, thank you for your support and I will see you next time. Bye.